But we're going to take a slight break from our year in review uh, as I am joined in the studio by Brian Boyd. So first of all, Brian, it's absolutely fantastic to have you here on Kandu FM. Thanks very much for that. Uh, so Brian's here today to talk to us a little bit about the Tour de Furness and what's going to be happening with it. So first of all, Brian, I guess Ken, we need to know, for anyone that's listening in, what is the Tour de Furness? Right, thanks for that. Uh, yeah, it's we call it our uh, Rotary Club of Furness. We organise it. I'm the vice chairman and uh, it's a pretty much the premier kind of cycle charity ride event in uh, in South Cumbria. It's aimed at raising money for charity, uh, as many of these th- these events are, and um, it takes place this year on uh, September the 9th. Fantastic. So, obviously, like I say, I'm, I'm sure many people out there will be, like say, that quite into the cycling and stuff, really will be able to sort of understand, sort of, like I say, so you hear like the Tour de France, the Tour de Britain and stuff like that, and how, sort of, how long these events are. So, how long has the Tour de France actually been going? Well, as I've said to one or two of your colleagues on uh, other radio present presentations like this, it started about 1995 um, with a Rotarian called Bill Bartlett, and f- we didn't take too many um, records in those days, um, but it was supposedly ridden by about 8 to 12 people um, on bikes that might be associated with uh, work, certainly not the, the hybrid kind of bicycles that we see people riding nowadays so it was a a pretty much a Heath Robinson affair and it was certainly something which is nothing like as refined as it is today. Yeah I'd imagine it'd be certainly much more difficult on some older bikes like say especially with like say all the modernizations you have on the bikes and stuff that really maybe not lessens the challenge it's still probably quite a big effort I'd imagine but like say just a bit different from like say bikes of all I suppose. That's right and it's evolved over the years as well Callum because I think in those days it was a I think it was a 50 miler and that was the end of it but now we've got four different routes We've got a five miler, a thirteen miler, a twenty three miler, and the fifty mile route. <coughs> excuse me, and that caters for all abilities and and pretty much all ages. I mean, we've got people well into the seventies riding the fifty mile route, and we've got young people under the age of sixteen who are riding the five mile route. And quite honestly, the same level of effort is being put in by the individuals yeah. on the five mile. As there is on the on the fifty mile route, and I guess the best thing with that is it really opens it up, like you said, to all sort of ages. It make, you're not just limiting it to people that do cycling all the time. For anyone that just yeah. is a bit more of a casual cyclist, wants to just say, "I want to contribute to this fantastic event," yeah. but I want to get involved on something that's not quite as grueling or challenging. Mm-hmm. And then for, like, say, your seasoned veterans that love cycling and going out places, that for them, the 50 miles. So you've got something tailored to every single right. in every single age. Yeah. And I guess, it, like say, it's a fantastic thing, obviously, with the, the culmination, obviously, of the Tour de Britain, which obviously yeah. is actually, I believe, involving Barrow in its, its own it route indeed. this year. Yeah. yeah, this year the Tour de Britain is setting off stage six in Barrow, and it's following quite a lot of the route of the 50 miler. Yeah. Um, that's taking place on the Friday from Barrow, um, there is a family day around town which is uh, bicycle associated on the Saturday for kids and, and adults and so forth. Uh, and the culmination, of course, is the Tour de Furnace, which is run by the Rotary Club of Furnace on the on the on the ninth, which is the Sunday. But it, it's a kind of a big cycling weekend, which you know for us we we've got the kind of icing on the cake, if you will. Yeah. But it, it has to be remembered that what this is is not a race; it's a cycle ride. Yeah. The Tour of Britain is a cycle race but they've asked us to promote their event and they are going to promote our event. Which is fantastic when you think about it. a big event, obviously, like say, obviously, like say, maybe second in line to the Tour de France, but obviously, like say, having a big event, sort of talk about mm-hmm. the event that you're doing in the local area. Yeah. And like say, it's the culmination, the two events sort of coming together and really sort of helping at the same time. Like say, it must, it must really help with likes of sponsorship and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, the whole event really is geared around sponsorship and um, the principal recipient of sponsorship is St Mary's Hospice in Ulverston. You know, we've supported them over the years. Um, the total that we've raised since inception of this event um, is probably in excess of £450,000. So although we're not, you know, the biggest contributor to St Mary's, we are a significant contributor. And we can only thank those individuals that have gone out and got sponsorship money. Some people say the easiest part of the event is actually the ride. Yeah. The difficult part is getting the sponsorship yeah, definitely. money. Yeah, You know, and, and if people want to do the ride... Um, please take on board the sponsorship uh, message and, and, and support the local charities. I mean, it's fantastic. I mean, obviously, like I say, for charities, any amount that can be raised, but like I say, I mean, you still think £450,000 is a lot of money, like I said, mm-hmm. especially to help, like I say, a local, the fact that it goes to a local charity and helps yeah. really helps them with, like I say, with all their day-to-day runnings and everything like that. 
Um, so I guess one thing we need to know is for anyone that is listening and really does want to get involved, how can people go about getting involved in the actual Tour de Furnace? Well, the first thing to do is get a decent bike. Um, but secondly, if people want to enter the event, the, there is a paper copy that you can actually enter on, li- uh, on, um, on, the, on the paper copy of the entry form. And you can get that from Top Mark in Greengate Street in Barrow. The other way to enter is electronically on um, the Rotary Club of Furnace website or the Tour de Furnace website. And if you go simply to um, Tour de Furnace on Google, it takes you straight to our two websites uh, and it's easy enough to enter on there. Everything's explained on there for you. And £15 gets you the entry fee. Um, late entry fees go up to £20, £25, but that's later on in August. Um, and for under 6 it's nothing. Fantastic. So, like I say, especially for these young people that want to get involved and do their bit, like I say, they can raise the sponsorship money and really get involved. And obviously, yeah. like I say, it's cycling's become something that's becoming a lot more a lot more common now with the likes of the cycle to work and really trying to get a focus on people mm-hmm. getting involved and being more active on bicycles. Because, like I say, that's it's right. a fantastic thing to, like I say, just be able to hop on a bike and go out for the day and everything. Like I say, this, having a local event that you think, right, I can work towards this, I can get involved with this, is definitely, like I say, it's a massive step up for people to go. I've got a bike, I can use it for this, I can use it for that. And like I say, having these local events is absolutely yeah. fantastic. Yeah, no, it's, it's it's absolutely great. The Rotary Club of Furnace have been dealing with this for the past, well, since its inception. And hopefully we'll continue to deal with it and, and, and run it. Um, the number of participants we had at the maximum was about 480, 500. Wow. And if anybody remembers last year's event, where the weather was absolutely appalling... Uh, we unfortunately we had about a twenty percent dropout. Yeah, uh, who basically just didn't turn up. Clearly, that impacted on the amount that we raised for charity. Um, but quite frankly, it was an event which we'll all remember. And um, everybody that entered, everybody that was there on the day, um, well done to them and the supporting organisations as well. But this year is special because of the uh, Tour of Britain and, and the Tour de Furnace. It's this culmination of a weekend. Of, of cycling and hopefully we can generate interest within the local community and, and, and see if we can get more people engaged in in this um, in, in this charity event. That's absolutely fantastic. So one, I guess one final thing to note is sort of what are the plans going forward, obviously in preparation for this event as it does kind of get nearer to the start time. Mm-hmm. Is there any, is everything sort of set in place or are still things that you're just trying to work on, like say whether it be the number of riders or... Well, at the moment, we're not clear on exactly the number of riders because it is increasing as we speak. But last time I looked at the web page, it had something like 23 riders for the 50 mile route. And I think we've got 10 or 11 for the 13 miler. But these things tend to, you know, grow immediately before the event. Yeah. Um, but it's like everything else. You put all the planning in place and you try to minimise all the, the things that could go wrong. Yeah. And on the day... Last year, everything went right apart from the weather. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a brilliant event, and we just want the listeners to to look at whether or not they think they've got, you know, the, the wherewithal to go through this. And yeah. I think it's a brilliant event, and I've been part of it for several years now, and long may it continue. Definitely, it sounds like say something that can continue the the longevity of it can keep running for years after year after year. So thank you very much, Brian, for coming in and chatting to me. It's been an absolute no pleasure having you here on today's show. That's been great. Thank you. Thank you. So that was Brian Boyd from the Rotary Club talking about the Tour de Furnace. And like I say, if you want to get involved with the Tour de Furnace, then you can check it, type it in Google. Like I say, it will take you straight there and you can find the electronic um, application form. Like I say, get some sponsorship, get involved. Like I say, there's different routes available to everybody. So no matter what age or capability or anything at all you are, like I say, there's a route for you. So like I say, get yourself, get that in for some, find out some more information about it. Like I say, see if it's for you and get yourself signed up for that.